With each new iteration of Windows, the amount of data collected by Microsoft on its users continues to increase, and with Windows 11, that trend continues. If you're someone who cares about your privacy, I will show you 10 settings on Windows 11 you can change to help protect your privacy, all of which you can easily do yourself without the use of any third-party software. Let's get started. For most of these, we'll be working with the Settings app. I know a majority of you already know how to open it. For those of you that don't, go to your taskbar, right-click on Start, and select Settings. You can also open it using the keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows key plus I. Using your advertising ID, Microsoft tracks your activities and then passes along that information to its advertising partners, who in return will target you with ads. To disable your advertising ID, along with other general privacy settings, in the left pane, select Privacy and Security. In Windows Permissions, go to General. Turn off, let apps show me personalized ads by using my advertising ID. In addition, while you're here to further safeguard your privacy, it's best to disable the other three listed below as well. For the next five, we'll start here in Privacy and Security. If you have no use for the new Windows 11 features like voice access and voice typing, and you don't want your data sent to Microsoft, let's turn off Microsoft's online speech recognition. In Windows Permissions, go to Speech. Near the top in Online Speech Recognition, click on the toggle to disable it. When Microsoft collects data about your computer activity and hardware components, that's known as diagnostic data. Unfortunately, it can't be disabled completely. Shame on you, Microsoft. But you can disable the optional data from going to them. In Windows Permissions, go to Diagnostics and Feedback. In Send Optional Diagnostic Data, turn it off. If you're using a local account like I am, this will be grayed out and can't be changed. So make sure you're in your primary Microsoft account to change it. In addition, go to Improve Inking and Typing. Turn this one off to stop your keystrokes from being sent to Microsoft to create a personalized dictionary. Once again, it'll be grayed out if using a local account. And if you don't want Microsoft using your data for personalized ads, tips, and recommendations, and tailored experiences, switch it off. Microsoft, the sneaky devil it is, keeps track of all your activity on Windows 11. To disable the feature, or shall I say non-feature, in Windows Permissions, go to Activity History. Uncheck the boxes for Store My Activity History on this device, and Send My Activity History to Microsoft. When you're done with that, go down to Clear Activity History and click on Clear. Then select OK. For programs and apps that you don't want having access to your location, you can easily disable their access. In Privacy and Security, scroll down to the Apps and Permissions section and click on Location. If you disable the toggle here at the very top, it will turn off location services for all your programs. I do not recommend doing this. Just in case your device ever gets stolen, it'll make it more difficult to track it and get it back. Instead, turn off access to apps individually that you know don't need access to your location. Another permission that should be disabled for certain apps and programs is granting access to your camera for those that don't need it. Staying in app permissions, go to camera. Just like location, disabling the toggle will disable camera access to all apps. If you leave it turned on, disable camera permissions to each app that you don't want having access. For example, there's no need for the Microsoft Store to have access to your camera at any time, so I'll turn it off. In addition to camera, microphone access should be disabled for apps and programs that should have no access to it. In app permissions, below camera, go to microphone. Just like location and camera, turning the toggle off at the top disables microphone access to all apps and programs. It's best to only disable those you don't want having access to your microphone at any time. Cortana, the Halo-inspired personal assistant, is still present in Windows 11, collecting information about the activity on your computer. To disable it completely, in the left sidebar, go to Apps. Then select Apps and Features. Scroll down and find Cortana, and there it is. Click the three-dot icon here on the right. 
and select Advanced Options. Scroll down and turn off Runs at Login, and this will completely disable this intrusive feature. Microsoft Edge, the default browser on Windows 11, is one of the least private browsers available. Even if you switch your default browser to one that's more privacy focused like Brave, Edge will still be used when clicking on links in Windows apps and links in the widget panel. Enabling tracking prevention will minimize the data collected on you. In the upper right, click the three dot menu icon and select settings. In the left pane, click on privacy search and services. Here at the very top, if it's not enabled, turn on tracking prevention. Microsoft recommends setting the tracking prevention level to balanced. The highest privacy level is strict. They say that parts of sites might not work, but we've never had an issue. Your mileage may differ depending on the sites you visit, so for some of you, balance might be best for you. While we're here, let's scroll down to the privacy section. As most of you know, many websites track your browsing activity, collecting information on you as you browse the web. If you enable Send Do Not Track Requests, that site will be notified that you don't want to be tracked. It's not enforceable, so a website may refuse to honor it, but at least sites that recognize and honor this request will no longer track you. Just below that, it's also best practice to disable, allow sites to check if you have payment methods saved. While it's convenient to have a payment method saved, it also puts your cards at risk in case of fraud or data breach, even if that data is encrypted. All, and I'll repeat, all encrypted data can be cracked. Manually entering card information each time is safer. Thanks for watching. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share with others. What settings do you change in Windows 11 to help protect your privacy? Let us know in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and ring that bell to stay up to date with the latest on Windows 11 and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Gumbo.